Yo, what's going on, YouTube? To see if you're from Click, and today I'm be doing the, uh, I guess, the much overdue uh, Blue Energy X2 review. Now I just finished my final exams and whatnot, so I have some time now to kind of do what I want. So I'll be shooting some videos, and we'll have some new content coming your way for sure. So. Uh, in terms of the video itself, now I already did the first impressions video, and I gotta say nothing's really changed from uh, you know off off of that video. Uh, things have been the same. Battery's been running exactly the same. Uh, performance has been great. Camera's been pretty decent. Um, yeah, so I mean, in terms of that, the video is not going to be too much different. I'll still go over everything just for anyone who may have missed the first impressions video or kind of wanted to do something a little bit more in depth. Um, so this is it. So first off, I'm going to start with the build. Um, again, as you guys know from the first impressions, or if you haven't watched it, then you'll... Uh, let me just clean the screen here. <laughs> it's too many fingerprints on here for me to shoot this video. Alright, there we go. It's nice and clean, or at least a little bit. Um, so we have this kind of plastic, metal, molded uh, back thing here. I honestly, I feel like it's it's a cheaper aluminum and the tops are plastic, um, but at the end of the day, it still feels great to hold in the hand. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, it's a nice heavy phone, uh, 4,000 milliamp hour battery in here. Obviously, it's removable, and uh, it, it definitely is a heftier phone compared to you know iPhones and other blue phones and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I guess just in general, compared to the phones that are out these days, this thing is like at the heavier end of things, um, especially for its size. It's only got a 5-inch screen, which we'll talk about now as well. Um, actually, before we touch on that, I just want to say that the build of the phone overall has held up fantastic. There's no nicks, there's no scratches. I've actually been using it without the case, and I'm not like trying to baby or anything. I have the keys in my pocket and stuff, you know, on my desk, you know, there's dust particles, stuff like that. It hasn't scratched. There's nothing... You know overly damaging on here I can't even see a single scuff on here or a scratch on here it's all just you know dust and fingerprints and whatnot so fantastic build quality in terms of the screen now it is a 720p AMOLED display as uh, we just get a new subscriber so whoever you are I can't pronounce your name is too long get that in the focus you made it in the video thank you for subscribing uh, much appreciated and uh, we'll clear that notification and um, yeah so for the screen a 720p LCD um, Typical thing with phone screens, you hold it up to here, you're going to see pixels at a normal distance, you're not going to see them. Uh, in terms of the colors and stuff, pretty accurate colors. In terms of like vividness and whatnot, it's not, again, it's no AMOLED panel and it never will be LCD, uh, you know, comparative to AMOLED. AMOLED for me anyway takes it any day, so the to, you know the display on any other AMOLED phone, even 720p, so like the Vivo Air LTE, that has a better screen. Um, so screen-wise, yeah, it's, a, it's an okay screen, it'll do you fine. If you're not like a crazy phone geek or whatever, then you're not even going to notice the difference between a normal uh, kind of screen and just a, you know, an AMOLED, really, you know, it, it's, you won't notice the difference in the day is what I'm trying to say here. Um, and in terms of screen, now because it's such a low resolution, it kind of ties into the battery in that the battery stats are fantastic. Now, I don't know if I have any kind of stats on here. Generally never do for these videos. Um, yeah, so as you can see here, uh, I mean, this is on, I'm pretty sure this has just been using, like, uh, the phone overall and just YouTube and stuff like that. Um, I have almost four hours of screen on time and I'm still at 70, give or take 70%, 67% now. Mind you, this is probably a lot of the screen has kind of just been sitting on the home screen. Um, I have watched a few YouTube videos on here, been doing a little bit of photo taking and, and just testing the camera, playing with the phone a little bit. Um, so I mean, even then, four hours of screen on time. Even if you're using it as a power save phone and you still have seventy percent left, sixty six percent left now, that's fantastic battery life. My projected bad, like my projected screen on time, is probably going to be somewhere close to eight hours, with, at least on this charge, which is honestly fantastic. And and you know, I can't really ask more from a phone this you know size and with the size of battery it has. Um, especially for the price, guys. Again, that 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 actually is the most impressive thing about the phone is that it's only a hundred. I believe it was only one hundred forty dollars when I picked it up. Um, so one hundred forty dollars buys you great build, great screen, great battery life. Software performance is is honestly it's smooth. There's a little bit of stutter here and there when you try and going between apps and stuff like that. Like if you go into WhatsApp, or I mean, if I could go into WhatsApp, okay, WhatsApp's gone now apparently. So let's go back if you go in. No, not gonna let me in. Let's go into the studio app. There you go. So here, it had to refresh the app. Um, you know, Facebook can't connect. Whatever. Okay, that's uh, that's an issue. <laughs> it must be my Wi-Fi. Um, but let's try and see if I can replicate some uh, some lag here um, that I have experienced on and off. You know, once in once in a while. Uh, so we'll open up a couple of these apps here, and 
let's go back now so we'll try to go back into the calculator is it there yeah so that's there we'll go into the uh, calendar now so I mean it keeps apps in the running in the RAM in the background you're not again you're not going to be able to like switch between 600 apps and, and have them all running because again you only have one gig of RAM here and as if I pull up a little bit closer here get that into focus it's gonna focus there you go so you have 200 megs left of the one gig if I clear everything out really you only get like 300 megs of RAM usable if I can get that into focus steady hands steady hands no you're not gonna focus for me come on anyway take my word for it uh, it says here 319 megabytes available of one gigabyte so it is what it is you're not gonna get fantastic RAM uh, you know management and whatnot but again you can't expect too much from a budget phone uh, in terms of the speaker like I said it's loud typical blue speaker it's loud tinny no bass but it is actually better than a lot of blue phone speakers uh, this one actually has very you know mild bass uh, you'd be able to hear a little bit if you really listen closely cameras take decent pictures again as I've always said taking pictures they'll go from my phone straight to Instagram and that's it there's nothing else there um, you know in terms of just going to the gallery here and take a look uh, the same pictures as before from the Ferrari um, and I mean that's I mean for me like if I can crop it even to that just so I can get the car in there post it on Instagram and it looks great then this is a go you know the camera's a go for me so uh, that's pretty much it for the full review guys I mean this is gonna be more I guess of a do I recommend it part here um, for 120 100 was 140 bucks that I paid for it definitely recommend it for someone who needs a starter phone now um, if you have like a, I don't know, like a Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy S4 or something and you need something cheap but newer, I, I honestly, I would stick with the Galaxy phone because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a Samsung phone. Uh, if, you're, if you're into rooting, there's more development. And uh, just in terms of overall performance and screen and stuff like that, you'll actually be downgrading f to this, uh, you know, from the Samsung. But if you're just like, you know, you don't have a phone, a lot of my commenters and viewers, they don't have a phone yet or they have an old phone and they're looking for something newer. Um, and they don't want to break the bank, then definitely 140 bucks here uh, will buy you a lot of phone for the money, um, especially in the battery department, guys. Like, honestly, these energy phones from Blue, I don't know how the hell they do it, um, but the battery life is fantastic on all of their energy phones, and, and it's fantastic. Like, you know, hats off to Blue for, for pulling it off. Um, so, again, guys, do I recommend it? Definitely. Um, would I say it's the best phone in the world? Definitely not. Uh, they, you know, there's definitely other phones out there uh, that give you better bang for your buck, um, but they do cost a little bit more. So again, if this is more for someone who's on a lower budget, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating myself, but uh, it's for someone who only has $140 to spend and nothing more. Um, so I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. That's the full review. Um, generally, see, the thing is with a lot of my phones is that when I buy them, after I review them and stuff, they kind of just go and collect dust in the corner. This one's not going to. I'm actually going to be using this. It's going to, you know, be in my rotation of, of phones. Um, and who knows, I might even use it next or I'll put my SIM in after the video. So we'll see what's up. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Deceive from Click. Uh, almost forgot. If you like the video, feel free to drop a like on it. If, uh, if you're not subbed to the channel and you enjoy our content, definitely feel free to drop a subscription to us. It means a lot to us. Uh, thank you guys all, everyone who's already subbed, the, all the support, just we can't express, you know, our thankfulness and stuff like that, you know, just making up words on the spot now for you guys, but we can't express, you know, how how appreciative we are of, of all the support, it's fantastic, so again guys, thanks so much, this has been the C from Click, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video, I'm out, peace.